Welcome back to Carnades.org. Today we're going to be continuing with our series, Dumbfounding Definitions, Dizzying Distinctions, and Diabolical Doctrines, a series starting through some of the jargon of philosophy. In this video, we're going to be looking at what is a cogent argument. Now, as we've covered before, you have deductive and you have inductive arguments. Within deductive arguments, you have valid and sound arguments. Within in inductive arguments, which are arguments that claim the premises increase the likelihood of the conclusion, you have strong arguments where the premises actually do increase the likelihood of the conclusion, and you have cogent arguments. Now, cogent arguments are arguments that have true premises and are also strong. So they tr have true premises and the truth of the premises would increase the likelihood of the conclusion. As with the relationship between valid and sound arguments, a cogent argument is simply a strong argument with true premises. For example, most people in Sweden eat semla on Mardi Gras. Stockholm is in Sweden, therefore a randomly chosen person in Stockholm will eat semla on Mardi Gras. Now this isn't certain because we're saying most people in Sweden, not all. So it's not certain, but it's probably made more likely by the truth of the premises. It's inductive, it's strong, because if the premises were true, then the conclusion would be more likely, and it's cogent, because in fact the premises are true. Or is it? Once again, as with strong arguments, this is problematic. Since a cogent argument must be strong, if our definition of strong is in question, so is our definition of cogent. We covered the issues with strong in the last video, but we'll revisit them briefly here. So a cogent argument claims to be one for which the conclusion must be more likely because the premises are true. For a cogent argument, your, argu your premises have to be true, and the truth of the premises guarantees that the conclusion is more likely. So the conclusion must be more likely. However, as more likely is comparative, the sensible question to ask, just as with strong arguments, is more likely than what? The answer hidden by the idea of a cogent or a strong argument is that this depends on your priors or your prior beliefs about the truth of the premises and the conclusion. For example, imagine that before viewing this argument, you believed that all people in Sweden eat semla on Mardi Gras, not just most of them. This would make the truth of the first premise lead you to conclude that the conclusion was less likely than you did before. That would make this a weak argument, not a strong one, and therefore it would not be cogent, because a cogent argument must be a strong argument with true premises. The point is that the cogency of an argument is not merely dependent on the structure of the argument and the truth of its premises, as a sound or valid argument is, but rather on the context and the prior beliefs of the listener. An argument that is cogent for you might not be cogent for me, based on our prior beliefs. As before, for a more in-depth assessment of these issues and a logical framework for inductive arguments dealing with probabilities and degrees of belief, check out my series on Bayesian epistemology. It's definitely a little more complicated and a little more advanced, but I try to walk through every single step of what it takes to understand Bayesian epistemology and the rational way to readjust degrees of belief and likelihood and inductive arguments and all this kind of stuff based on new evidence. What do you think? Does the concept of cogency or strength really make sense? And in what contexts would it make sense? And would you use these terms to describe an argument? While they may seem to map onto valid and sound, there's definitely some issues there because valid and sound can be judged in absent of any other context or ideas about people's previous beliefs. Whereas it seems that cogency and strength can't be. Whatever you think, please offer it in the comments below. Watch this video and more here at carnades.org and stay skeptical, everybody.